Um, but let me, uh, so, uh, let me show you a little bit of some of our, uh, already completed works that I'm really excited to show off. So these next ones are from the board game Scythe, if you know it. Uh, it's, I think it's like based on Russia and it's a, from what I know, it's like Risk. I haven't actually played it because we, we, my roommate got the game, but then I'm supposed to be painting up the miniatures before we play the game. So, um, that's what I'm doing <laughs> rather than playing it. I've stolen all the miniatures, so it's unplayable at the moment. <laughs> I'm painting them. But um, here's our here's our first girl. I assume it's a woman. I want to see the tiger face. Come on, camera. Can I have to hide the woman to see the tiger? Yeah, there we go. You can see how big it is because you can see my thumb. I know, right? I love it. Here, let's see if we can get a good picture of the woman too. Gotta hide the tiger? No, <laughs> I don't know. It's a, I think the camera's like trying to lock on to like specific like faces and things. I was asking uh, I was asking my my uh, boyfriend who does actually he does photography about how it worked, and um, I was like, surely it's got to be a macro lens, right, in there in the camera. Okay, uh, that was a little bit long. We're just gonna speed through a few. Yeah. You know it. I love tiger. I I'm s I just love painting tigers and, of course, ocean creatures because you know, how could I resist? <laughs> it, honestly, I'm definitely all about that life. So this is all from that Russian Russian game scythe. So, all of it's got a real, it's got a real Russian feel to it. I've got this uh this this fake snow stuff on there. Um. Just a just a quick and just a quick and easy uh, uh, quick and easy snow on the the bottom kind of thing. I didn't get too complicated with the bases. I'm like, well, that's, that's just fine. This is one of my favorite ones that I painted, mainly because I like the little uh, I like the freehand work on the uh, on the overcoat. I think that's the right term in this case. Look at the cute yak face! I just love him! Got some intense music playing on in the background. Alright, all right, so two more to show off and then we're gonna start the actual process. Um, we've got this guy with the wolf. I'm, I'm just showing off all the scythe ones because they're the ones I have on my desk. Um, there's a whole bunch more. Um, that's why, but uh, you guys can check them out if you want to. They're in the, they're in my Etsy store, um, which is on the splash page, and hopefully will pop up in stream chat at some point too. This one's real hard. I will I will explain later, but um, or uh, red and yellow are really really difficult colors uh, to paint with. So this one was kind of a bitch, just gonna say it, kind of a bitch, because I wanted to do, I wanted to do yellow, because the character base is yellow, and in the game, you know, you have yellow, yellow figures or whatever. Okay, and then I did some, I did some robots too. It's hard to like take a, the thing with these, these, the thing with miniatures is it's kind of hard to take a picture of them, honestly, and really get how they look, which is what I love about the stream. Because, um, in pictures, they're actually, the picture is larger than the, the object itself. So I've had the issue where it always looks slightly less good in pictures than it does in real life. Because the pictures, um, as I mentioned, are larger than it actually is. It, it's, it's kind of like, you know, when you play on a micro Game Boy, how the, the, the image looks sharper even though it's the same number of bits. Uh, it's exactly like that. It's like you blew up the micro, micro Game Boy or micro SP, whatever it was called, micro SP screen, to like a full size screen, and you're like, oh, interesting. So that's what I love about this camera is it's got a really it, it autom because my hands here you can automatically see like how big it is in relationship to everything. All right. Anyway, back to the back to our task at hand. Let me explain a little bit about um, 
about what we're doing today. So this is a just a Julius Caesar, I assume. Just a just a like a miniature I picked up. Fart Bubbler, I wonder too. Like macro lens will get you the really good quality, but you know, I, honestly, I'm like, do I just need to get good? <laughs> do I just need to get a microscope and do that? Paint and get a get a jeweler's lens, which I've tried to do before, but it didn't work super well using a jeweler's lens to actually paint. Um. So this is a this is a just a just a really a cheapy a cheapy Julius Caesar uh, miniature that I got from um, Hobby Lobby, but uh, this is the decorative snow that actually went on those other miniatures. And this is just some sticky, some sticky tack. And the reason we've sticky tacked the miniature up here is because actually if you hold it in your bare hands, uh, your oil from your hands... <laughs> that's... <laughs> Fire bubbler, 100%. Like, that's the first step. <laughs> Write your name on this piece of rice, then, you, then you'll be good at miniatures. 